Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And going back into the Chamber of Aspects for the third stage, meant to use a physical Earth team. Warrior's Mind. Octogram Demon Lord only. So options are actually pretty limited now, but we did just recently get a very nice Earth unit, that's single target. So we've got Space Millum here, and she's got 2 million HP, and actually pretty high stats. So we were going to nuke this stage. It's built for a guy orb change, so if you don't have him, this is he's the only unit that can do this realistically. Um, so, yeah, good luck. But the Warriors Mind team does continually get a lot of buffs, so let me go build a team really fast and we'll be right back. All right, here we have the full uh, Warriors Mind team as it came out during the one and a half anniversary a full year ago. Uh, Velzard, Guy, obviously, because he's the quote-unquote DPS character. He's the highest stats. Um, he's got Earth Jean underneath her. I, him, I was going to use her on the team, but then I remembered that we only have <laughs> four available Earth units on this team, one of them being the free-to-play Veldora, so... Uh, we had to make a few concessions here, so that was uh, that's what we had to do. Warrior's Mind Rimuru is going to rush alts for everybody, plus defense down, plus be the alt swapper. Lumi has her gimmick of the extra protector gauge if you have some, and then the physical buff. Warrior's Mind Violet orb changing and the crit buff, and then the free to play Shion is our orange converter and has the stacking crit damage. So I mean we're going to nuke with these two single target earth units more than anything. But, this I mean, this team can still hold up. It doesn't do a lot of damage nowadays, because crit has just not been a focus for a lot of teams lately. Uh, especially blue crits. But, you know, it can still do damage. So let's find out how much damage. And the very unfortunate thing is that we do not have any of the big three available to give us starting protection gauge. So we're pretty down and out right here. Uh, let's bring Shion in for Lumi. And yeah, we'll run with this up front. Guy will do good damage. You know, he's got single target ult. He's got very high stats because he's at 120, and he's at a 116 John underneath him. It's just that I only have one Earth Great Sword, so someone's missing it. Um, right. Okay, we really need a decent hand here. Um, yeah, that's that's not what we can work with. I could bring Violet in for one of these two. But it'd still leave an orb change, so... I guess we'll come back when we have a good turn, too, because that's really what's going to matter, so hold on one second. Okay, uh, I mean, this technically works, yes. So uh, We can bring Violet in for Rimuru and then use her orb change and Shion's orb change to take care of that orange. Let's get a stack on Rimuru first, though, because, I mean, with his alt rush skill ability, it's not like we're not going to get his alt. So I'm not overly concerned about that. So he comes out. Violet's orb change, and then Shion's orb change, and then we'll bring Lumi in for Violet and keep her in the back so we can maximize her potential as an orb changer, and hopefully next turn doesn't screw me over like it has been for the past 10 minutes and give me, like, one blue orb. Although, now that I've said it, I've probably just cursed myself even harder, haven't I? Uh, oh, no, okay, we'll take that. That can definitely work. So... Uh, let's see. Let's bring Rimuru back in for Lumi. Yeah, Lumi. And then we can use the orb change. We can start stacking some crit damage with uh, Shion. Oh, I'm mistaken. It's... Okay. Her. I thought her the orb change was 20% uh, alt gauge on blues. It's the crit skill. Okay, well, fine. Whatever. Either way. Uh, we'll stack up on our three single targets. I don't think I'm going to be hitting an alt with Shion, but nah, it is what it is. Well, it's more important that we get it on our two Earth units more than anything, because this is not an AoE stage. I don't need to really prioritize Lumi or Violet, unlike a lot of the Warrior's Mind stages we've gotten recently. Uh, yeah, we can work with that too. All right, so 220 points. We'll use an orb change, orb change, crit buff stack. We have 60 points now. We're nuking on turn 8, so we've got plenty of time to do what we need to do here. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get Shion out of here. 
Yeah, because I don't really want her ult yet. Let's bring Lumi in. And then hopefully next turn we have enough points to use her gimmick skill, the extra protector for 70 points. Uh, yeah, because yeah, it will allow us to use three stacks of Velzard instead of the normal two. Uh, I, I, we still can probably, so let's do let's do that. Boom. So now I've got an extra one. We'll bring Shion back in, I guess. I guess we're going to get her ult anyways, regardless. So orb change, orb change. Not enough for the crit stack. It is what it is, though. But now we can get three stacks on Earth, Guy, and Rimuru. So one, and two, and then three. The charm that we're running is extra protection gauge on blues, which is just, you know, helps us stack faster. Uh, yeah. Okay. So with that many uses of Velzard, we're going to be very, very close, if not already capped on Rimuru's alt rush ability, because it goes up by 10% every time you use the protector. It starts at 50? So you need to use quite a... Oh, you're almost dead. Please don't... Okay, well, I mean... Sure. That actually really doesn't work like I wanted it to, but... Wow. She just did not touch Rimuru at all. Just really hated Shion. Uh, I mean, fine, whatever. Uh, let's, let's get you out of here. So we can... God, that really sucks, doesn't it? Alt swap. Please hit Rimuru's alt swap. Or no, I'm sorry, I meant guys. Uh, okay, so we'll do the alt rush. Okay, we're 90%. So this last stack right here will be the 100%, which is fine. So I'm going to send this Rimuru orb because I just want to send six here to get that double stack of protector. He's not going to do too much damage because he has no buffs on, but I mean, 99k, yeah, it's not the greatest. As long as no one dies and as long as we can get a, get a nice hand right here, we'll be looking okay. Oh, we synergy. Okay. Oh, that's just awful. Okay, we're just going to... God. Okay, well, we're just going to send this. Right, and we'll just bank on this turn just being a dead turn. Alright, cool. Thank you. What is your attack stat up to now? That was a 29,000 attack. Holy crap. Plus she's got 100% magic resistance, pierce resistance. Oh, that's why. A stacking 8 uh, attack buff. Okay, well we have enough points to nuke regardless, so let's use the crit damage, alt resistance down. We'll bring Lumi in now that it's turn 8. Her second skill, or her first skill, will have evolved into that extra awaken part where she gets an extra 40% crit resistance on the enemies that go down. And then we'll use the alt buff and guaranteed crits. We'll get our two stacks of the protector. We can use Guy's orb change. We can lower the defense as well. So we can do pretty much everything. We just haven't really been able to stack crit damage because uh, uh, Xion bought the farm. I think we'll be okay. Uh, she has probably, what, one and a, one and a half million HP left? I didn't look at that when we were checking. Yeah, 1.59. So we'll send Lumi first, then we'll send Guy, and then we'll follow up. So Lumi, she never gets her time to shine. We'll, we'll show off this ult. Thermial Requiem. I, I don't think I said that right, but whatever, sue me. Uh, it's not going to do a lot, but she does have all the buffs. Except the crit damage. 222. It's not bad. Guy's alt will hit very hard here. He got a few stacks of that extra crit damage as well. Uh, instead of Shion, you could bring Tempest Elite Benny Maru. Like, he would work. He's an orb changer. He's got the physical buff, which would also help. You could put you Neo know, the Earth Jean on the team and forego Earth Reamer to support. Yeah, we do 2.1 by himself. So that would have killed Milim from full HP. So yeah, there's the full quote unquote. Warriors mind team. Let's uh, let's make some substitutions now, I guess. Ah, uh, <laughs> right. Thanks, Millum. Yeah, let's come back. All right, we've completely substituted everything but the protector and guy, since guy is 
kind of important here because he's the only turn one orb changer we can use. But we've now swapped out for the new Earth Jean from the Primal Demon meta. She's got weakness strike and the element resistance down, which will definitely help. Plus, she's also a single target Earth character. We brought Old Space Jean because she can give both of these characters the full 170% damage buff increase and then we've brought tempest sleep benny maru and fount of wisdom rimaru who both technically have the physical buff but rimaru is taking care of our orange orbs benny maru is taking care of a special convert and technically you know based when i did the science a couple months ago benny maru's physical buff is better in single target situations because that alt resistance down um does more damage support than the higher physical buff and the 20% fizz resistance down from Rimuru. So you're only here to orb change. So if you don't have him, you can bring the free to play Shion. It really doesn't matter. Um, she would still help out greatly because we're still getting crits from Guy. So crit damage will work very, very well. But I wanted to use a mostly different team here to accomplish probably the same goal. All right, I cut to turn two just in case, you know, orb RNG doesn't really work out for us. But here it actually does. So let's use the stack of Velzard on our three, you know, primal demons right here. And then we can bring Fount of Wisdom Rimuru in for Space Jean. She doesn't have type advantage. She's the least important character here. And we'll use his orb change. And then we'll use Benny Maru's orb change, which has that extra nice 30% gauge increase on it. I've also changed the charm to the alt gauge for the highest attacking ally, which is Guy. So we can just rush his alt as much as possible since we no longer have Earth Rimuru here to give us that, you know, 80, 90, 100% alt gauge. And this one's sure that we can actually get his EX alt plus that 30%. That is an awful hand, but I can still work with it because we have Benny Maru here. So let's, uh, let's continue to use this. We can use, yeah, his orb change and guys, and that will take care of everything. And we have enough points for that, so that's that's okay. All right, I mean, it's working out. So boom, boom. We also have access to Jean's, you know, skill reset in case things get too expensive. We're not running a team that's going to fully utilize her extra 300 points because we don't have the ability to use multiple skills a turn to continue stacking like the Primal Demon team does. So it's really not important. So if things get really out of hand as far as cost is concerned, we can use this to reset. It just, it's expensive. So I'd rather not. Um, that is an interesting hand right there. It certainly, certainly is. Uh, we also don't have an alt swapper. So what I'm thinking is Guy probably just comes out of here, right? So we'll use his orb change. Since we can get his alt just by stacking with Velzard, he's not really that important to bring up front. So we'll just replace him and Jean, actually. Uh, never mind. We're going to send Jean's alt. Well, I mean, we could... And now let's just send Jean's ult. I'm, I don't want more. Well, I don't want multiple ults on this team. I don't even want one ult technically. Okay, you're not gonna do a lot. You've gotten a few stacks, but it's whatever. 66k, sure. You know we need we need two million, right? That's the damage we need. Oh, please don't kill Benny Mario. I mean, it's not the end of the world because we're still gonna get a physical buff. But I mean, okay, uh, we should probably swap Benny Mario out. Oh. Um, yeah, we can do that. So, we'll take, uh, we'll use Rimuru's orb change, boom, and then we'll bring Guy in, we'll get that extra stack from Velzard, and then we'll send him away. Uh, oh, we're gonna leave Benny Maru up front, that's not what I, I should have swapped the other one, oh well. Uh, well, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> I hope Benny Maru doesn't die here. Let's do that. Please don't. I don't want to reset this. I don't want to reset this. Please hit, like, Space Jean or something. Oh, Space Jean's doing one damage. That's awesome. Okay. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You did it. Fuck. <sighs> Ah. 
She must target the lowest HP person or something, and that gave us all three alts. Uh, well, it gave us the EX alt. Yay! Do we just burn two turns then, huh? I think that's what we do. We just burn two turns. We have enough to full nuke, so 8, 80. We technically don't use need to use his alt buff. I mean, we do, technically. Yeah, I mean, we'll get the crit and everything, and that's cool, but we're getting 170% alt here already instead of the 80. Alright. Oof. Yeah, I, I think that's what we're going to do here. Let's take you out. And uh, we'll just send these orbs. And we're going to burn two turns. So turn seven, I don't really care what it is. We're not really going to stack up any higher than this. I maybe could have gotten away with using the two stacks and maybe we would have had enough to use uh, all three buffs. But I also don't think it's going to be absolutely necessary here. So, we'll use the two alt buffs from Space Jean, and then we can send her away. And then we'll bring Guy in. Space Jean. Yeah, and then we can use the physical buff and the element resistance down and the weakness strike. And I still think we should have enough oomph here to kill, even without having, you know, two turns of stacking plus the better Benny Maru buff. I think we'll be fine, especially since we have two alts here, even though one of them is not EX. So let's send Jean first, see how much it does. We'll follow up with these Rimuru orbs. She does 719, and then Guy 1.2 is what I saw there. Okay, so yeah, it's not perfect. Someone died still, so I still have to come back and do this fucking stage again. But uh, yeah, it works. I don't know if there's any other team that can do it. Let me check. Let me take a look. All right, I mean, looking at this lineup, like, yeah, certainly you could use Primal Demon Violet to lead this team if you really, really wanted to. You'd be losing that extra 60% damage buff that Belzard is giving, though, and I'm not sure if that's quite worth it for what she's doing, which is still 12% attack stacking, the same as this Belzard. Um, if you have access to Kona Super Rimuru, that's generic alt buff. Diablo's generic alt resistance down, but his stacking is now heavily outdated. Uh, as far as battle units are concerned, you don't really have a lot of options. You have a bunch of AoEs that are not type advantage. You've got single target. Wind Hanada has type disadvantage. Uh, I mean, the new Space Guy is an AoE character, but, you know, his... You could put him on the Primal Demon team, and he would work, kind of. But you'd need to put him with, you know, Space characters, since, you know, he only buffs Wind and Space on their alt gauge, and that drops you down to Space Jean and these two girls right here. Other than that, your options are pretty limited. You could bring Vengeance Veldora for the fun buff. Um, I, I guess I can try Vengeance. Uh, man, I don't know how that's gonna go. He has, she has two million HP, and greens are nerfed. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna try Vengeance. That just sounds like an awful pain in the ass. And then you got a bunch of old characters down here. Um, crit for Tempest Elite and Dark, not really useful. You've got an attack buff and blue orb changes, so you can be a good substitute, you know, damage support, but certainly not a nuker. Carrion does have orb change and crit damage for everybody, so you can take advantage of that. It would stack alongside Shion's, but they have the same orb change, so I don't really want to bring them together. Um... New Year's Rimuru, like, yeah, it's, he's got rainbow orbs, that's cool, but that's about it. I, I don't think there's any other team you can use that's not going to revolve around just these characters that I've used in the, in the two previous segments. So, if you have another team that can do this reliably, um, you know, go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'm going to redo this until I get that third mission done with this, the old Warriors Mind team, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you all later.